In this video, we'll go over how to identify the proper context using simple tools that we have in our disposal. First, we need to do is we need to put our 21 bar EMA on the chart. It looks like this. This is a supportive indicator. And then we're going to be using trend lines. And I'm going to show you guys how to draw the trend lines properly when you're not sure how to draw them. All right, guys, take a look at the right side of the chart and please ignore the left side of the chart because this is the yesterday session. We're going to be doing our analysis on today's session. And what we see right from the get go is we're doing our pre market analysis and the EMA is pointing down. And this is a supportive indicator. And once EMA is pointing down and prices are below the EMA, this indicates a downtrend. So naturally what I have to do first, I need to put it in some sort of range and I'm going to use trend lines and I'm going to use trend lines because I want to see where the break of the trend line is because following price action trend line rules after price will break the trend line traders will attempt to create a new extreme and this is really important because take a look what we have right here we have a first break of this bearish downtrend this downtrend is fitting fairly nicely and price just created three big bullish bars so most traders who are just starting out their first instinct would be to start buying but that would be wrong even though this is looking fairly bullish Remember, what is the context here? The context is strongly bearish and the price action rules are telling us we need to wait for a new extreme, okay? And since I have this downtrend working lower, I also want to draw my shortened trend lines. And just a reminder, why am I drawing the trend lines tight like this and not wider like this? It's because, it is because this is the bigger pattern and these are just short term corrections, okay? When the market is reversing, I'm going to be draw drawing the wider ones when the market is bigger downtrend and these uptrends, I'm not going to draw it like this. I'm going to draw it like this. These are just short term corrections. So I'm going to do the same thing right here. This is our first break of this trend line. What do we have here? We have a first entry short, second entry short, and market pull back below the EMA. This is exactly what we're expecting following perfect price action rules. The context is still bearish here. Okay. Okay. This is still too early. So I'm going to go through this fairly quickly and look what happened here. A lot of times when you have a break and an attempt to create a new extreme, that can be enough. Sometimes attempt is close enough. So take a look at right here. The context is still bearish, but it's starting to change here. The context is starting to be a little bit more of a trading range like, and we can actually reverse because these, this is a fairly big bullish move up. But look what happened next that completely changes the context. We have a big bearish bar that creates a double top right here right creates a double top right here and pushes back below the ema not only that there are two legs bullish legs that just played out this correction market moves in twos two legged like pullbacks and second entries that's a high probability setup if you combine it with the proper key entry point so now that i'm looking at this the market is starting to look bearish once again but it's not enough yet for me to go short because this is looking fairly bullish and we could have just, you know, this could have been attempt and it could have been enough and we could be rallying up higher. But look what happened next. Market is pushing lower and we ticked one tick or a few ticks higher and instantly reverse down. This is a lower high setup of this bar right here, this double top right here. And this is a more confirmation that price really pushed below EMA, traded up higher and instantly reverse down. This was my first trade for today. And the context, the context is bearish. Why? Because we have a downtrend working lower, price is below EMA, okay? Price is once again back below EMA. Double top is here holding and we are waiting for a new extreme. The bulls failed, they failed break above here and they turned back below the EMA and market just created a quick, easy move down. And look what we have here. Price finally formed a new extreme, okay? So when this happens, I'm no longer focusing on selling I'm expecting reversal or possibly correction. What is happening next is the market keeps pushing lower and keeps making a few more legs down. That's okay. I am, you know, not really selling at this point on because I have new extreme. And if we keep making new extremes, then I can look for bigger pattern. I can potentially look for spike and a channel, something like this. If we get, if we keep making new lows, but take a look how market is starting to waver. You keep making lower pushes that the pushes are slower and you're starting to chop, chop around here. Okay. But what is the context here? Can anybody tell me the context here is still bearish though. Even though we have a break in a new low, I'm not looking to sell. We still don't have a reversal yet. We still don't have any sign of bullish pressure or anything. So the context is still bearish. We can end up, you know, creating a new extreme, a new extreme, and we can be pushing lower. We don't know that yet. So 
Right now though, we're sitting on our hands and look what is happening next. Market keeps pushing strongly above the EMA. All right, and when this happens right here, your first, what you're starting to think is that we are reversing. And since we are reversing, you want to be really 100% sure that the market is reversing. And how do we recognize that the market is safely reversing? Okay, what we want to see is we want to see a reversal pattern. And we look for reversal pattern number one after a new extreme is formed of the previous trend. Previous trend is bearish. Okay, and the new low is definitely formed. So the downtrend played out. We have a push above the EMA. That's the part of a reversal pattern. You need to push above the EMA where we're looking for reversal of the uh, downtrend into uptrend. And you need to have two felt attempts in the previous trend's direction. This is the lowest low that we created of this bearish move down. We have a first entry short, pullback, 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 second entry short failure. Okay, and now that I see this, I'm going to draw this trend line right here. Can we take this reversal pattern though? It meets all the criteria of what I have mentioned, but no, we cannot take this. Why? Because we are not touching the EMA. We are far away from EMA and the best reversal pattern is the one that you're touching the EMA nicely. Okay, so skip this reversal pattern. The context here is however bullish. Okay, you got the trend line, you got the reversal pattern, you're pushing above the EMA and market keeps working higher. And once again, why am I not drawing trend line tight like this? You can even draw it tight like this. There is no problem with it. But market is reversing now. This is no longer correction. This is a trend reversal. So after you have a reversal pattern, extend the trend line and make it a little bit wider. You cannot keep it tight like this in the corrections. So when I was watching this live, I was right now starting to think bullish because market played out, the downtrend played out, and we are strongly pushing higher. But we have just a bunch of first entries. And when we're pushing higher like this, take a look at the EMA. The context right now, what is the context here? 100% bullish. There is no question about it. Okay, so, and we even though we know the context is bullish here, we're probably looking for a bigger pattern and you're wondering, how do I find a bigger pattern? You don't find a bigger pattern yet. This is not enough information for you to find a bigger pattern yet. All you know is that the context is bullish because EMA is pointing higher and price is trending above it. So you're looking for second entry longs with the trend. What do you have here? First entry long, you just sit patiently. What do you have here? Okay, new high, first break of this uptrend. So you're expecting probably new extreme. Do we get second entry? No, we don't get second entry. We just get a new extreme and market keeps pushing higher. So the context, once again, 100% bullish. We have a break and a new extreme. So this means I'm no longer looking for longs, okay? Even though this is extremely strong trend, you have to respect the trend lines. After price will break the trend line, traders will attempt to create new extreme and it happened right here, okay? And here's a great setup right here. You have a new high, first entry long, pull back, little jack lower, and a second entry long failure. Look how many people went long here on a second entry so far away from EMA after price created a new extreme. I'm going to mark this as aggressive entry. I didn't take this trade myself, but a lot of aggressive traders can take this trade because you know a lot of beginner traders watch this go entire move and they are trying to go long at the very high of the move far away from EMA after uptrend played out. So this is a great trade. You got a lot of room to the EMA. The context is still bullish. Okay, when I was watching this, when the market got right here, since this is such a strong move up, I wasn't honestly respecting, expecting market to break below EMA. I was 100% expecting EMA holding prices and I was preparing my limit order that I'm going to get some potential setup around the EMA because context is bullish. But what happened here was strong push below EMA. And this caught me off guard because what you do in this situation, is the market really bullish or is the market starting to be bearish? Okay, well, at this point on, uh, the context is starting to look bearish because the uptrend played out and we we're pushing back below the EMA. So when I was looking at this, I was expecting, okay, we may push lower. Context is starting to be bearish. So I'm going to be looking for reasons to sell. That's your natural instinct that you should be expecting. Okay, you're following the price action rules. Look how it all works efficiently. But what happened here completely changed the game. You had strong hook push back above the EMA. And now this is a new low, first entry short, higher low setup, and take a look at overall this. Is the context bullish or bearish? What do you think? This is the most recent swing down, more re recent push down, yes, but the overall price action is really bullish. And the fact that we push back above the EMA is huge. So it, this is an indication that we are, the trend is resuming. And here you can find actually your potential channel. Let me see. It looks something like this. I'm just gonna copy it, put it to the other side. 
and you can even see how nice it fits off the lows okay so but i just didn't have enough information yet to draw it here but once we get pushed right here that's what set up the trend and when i was watching this what should you be expecting what do you think i was expecting according to trend line rules and uh, following the price action i was expecting felt second entry short okay even a higher low would be a good if the signal bar was great because the context is bullish i'm looking for reasons to go long i now have this upper trend line which confirms that i should be only looking for longs but i don't even get a pullback lower i don't get no felt second entry short like here here was a felt second entry short failed here's just a first entry short above the ema failed so no setup okay and remember guys only setup i took was this setup right here at one o'clock so all this i'm doing i'm sitting and being extremely patient okay because and that's the name of the game you have to be really patient when you're watching the chart and you get no high probability setups okay so in this point the context is bullish i have a little trend line working higher we're pushing above the ema this is 100 bullish market what i like to do i like to draw my highs of a trading range just in case we reach all the way up to here and i may potentially look for pullback if we are really far away from ema but at this point on the market is looking bullish and look what happened here this is going to be a tricky situation we have a new high we have a sort of like a first entry on the inside bar pullback and i was watching this when i was watching this live this was really tempting but i was looking at this we are not quite touching the ema there's still a gap especially if, if you're not touching even with a wick with the tail this is really telling you something i would like to touch with the body and the bar is doji so even though this is looking like a two like a pullback on a micro level in an uptrend we're coming off the upper trend line so you're most likely going to go to the other side there is i draw a trend line something like this i draw a trend line something like this and you're not touching the image this is a doji bar and look i thought i was going to miss the trade but then i got rewarded for being patient because it ended up just trapping a lot of traders and market kept pushing low so you have to respect the short term trend line this is why it is so important and look what happened here you have a bullish bar here and what is the context here by the way once again what is the context here is the context bearish because we are starting to reverse here or is the context still bullish well the context is still 100 percent bullish no question about it it may be extremely uh, trivial question but we need to reinforce that so now we have this bullish bar and i was watching this i was preparing my limit order 100 i already pre pre prepared my limit order but i was like okay we still have this downtrend we're below ema so i'm going to be patient and i'm not going to take this trade because i don't want to get trapped but look what happened next you had a big bearish bar that traded lower and it failed to do so and at the very end of the bar reversed higher look at this look how many people started buying at the end of this bar this even though it's a bearish body it is tiny one tick bearish body this is extremely bullish pressure here i took my second trade right here okay if this bar wasn't good, good looking like this i would not enter on this inside bar because we still have this downtrend here i barely managed to get out on just two point uh, two points or how much room did i have let me see oh let me look all right so i had 44 25 44 for 50 so i had two ticks left to spare uh, on this bar so as you guys can see really eight ticks is such a tiny little move so a lot of you guys want to go only for one point but even take a look how two points it's still really tiny move so even though um, you can read it a little bit wrong uh, you can still get out easily as a scalp this is why a scalping is such a, a powerful thing but I th still think this was a good trade because of this bearish bar uh, ended up bullish and the, you're at the key entry point. This is really important. This is a bigger pattern now and you're at the key entry point and you have to take the trade. But look what happened next. You have a downtrend working lower. You have a break, new extreme. And what does happen? What does that mean? After break and new extreme, the trend is over. But at this instant, we are below EMA. So as I was watching this, I was expecting some higher low push above the EMA. And by the time you get this, this is not really enterable because your stop loss has to go below this and market just went without me however i will mark this trade because it is extremely tempting the signal bar is big but if you sneak in with the limit order for the back this is a good way to trade because downtrend played out the context is still bullish okay because especially now when the downtrend played out when you're looking at this the context is 100 percent bullish here i'm only thinking long at this point on and this is a nice bullish bar so when i'm watching this i'm expecting for price to create a new extreme naturally break of the bigger pattern i'm looking for a new extreme what is happening right here 
push below EMA. Uh oh. All right. So it may take some time below uh, before we get back above the EMA. It's it's something like here. Okay. We just first traded above the EMA, then continue into trend and push again above the EMA and continue into trend. Okay. So we're pushing above the EMA. Little correction. So when I'm watching this, I'm not selling yet. Okay. When I'm watching this, I'm not selling it. I'm still thinking long. But market keeps pushing lower. And look what's happening. Market. Why is market pushing lower and not above the EMA? Okay, here you have a few bearish bars. And look what you have here. Market tried to push above the EMA and instantly failed. And we are below EMA. This is a two-legged pullback. Do you guys see it? Two-legged pullback. This is a hidden second entry because we didn't trigger below this bearish bar. But it, you guys can see that you have a bullish bar, bullish bar, bearish move, bullish bar, bearish move. This is a two-legged pullback, second entry at the EMA. And this is now telling us that the context is starting to shift. It's no longer, it's no longer bullish because we are failing to break above the EMA. And off these lows, you can find nicely a trend line. And this is what I was looking at. I didn't take this trade because already take a look. I took my first trade at around, let's say one o'clock and here at 16, 15. So it was a three hours, three hours of just sitting here and being patient. You know, patience is the name of the game. If you don't see a setup, you don't want to be gambling. You want to be really sure you're reading the price action correctly. So I was, you know, my trading battery was already uh, gone. I was really uh, not really feeling trading no more. So I took two setups and I called it a day. But this is a nice two-legged like pullback at the EMA and context is shifting because we cannot make it above the EMA if we like here we push back below the EMA so this is a good indication that the downtrend is resuming here we didn't close above the EMA okay we didn't close above the EMA so the context is bearish it's no longer bullish and we keep pushing lower we keep pushing lower it's gonna adjust the trend line a little bit we have a new low first entry short I'm just thinking short right now okay because a lot of times attempt to create a new extreme is enough uh, however, there's a new low. There's a first entry short. Market is pushing higher. I'm going to draw my short term trend line. Something like this. The context is context is bearish, but we're pushing now above the EMA. And look what you have next. And this is probably the most confusing situation today because the context is bearish and you have a first break of this lower uh, downtrend working lower. But at the same time, you push back above the EMA and you ha may have a new extreme of this overall uptrend. OK, you, you push back above the EMA and you have a new extreme potential of this overall uptrend. So what do you have? What do you do now when you have a two conflicting beliefs? You have this short term uptrend, you have this bigger downtrend. You just sit on your hands. OK, you just sit on your hands because you're not really sure you have a new high. First entry long, second entry long, EMA is holding. This may be potential entry. I will mark it. Uh, because somebody, I, I guess somebody can actually take it. This could be a potential trade to take a chance on here. But I really uh, was paying more attention to the downtrend here because the uptrend tried to create the new extreme right here and it failed and we were below EMA. And once you create this first entry long pullback, second entry long failure back below EMA, this is where you want to take a short here. Okay, I only mark this because I know uh, if you're watching it more, focusing on the uptrend you may p potentially take a trend here trade here okay but this was a good enough information that we cannot make a new extreme we cannot push above the ema and we keep failing and this downtrend is starting to look fairly big look how the big the downtrend is okay and the market keeps pushing lower so the context right now is 100 percent bearish and what do you have here you have a new extreme okay you have a new extreme the context is still bearish though but i'm sitting on my hands i'm i don't sell anymore and market keeps pushing back above the EMA. Okay. Uh oh, okay. We keep pushing above the EMA. We keep pushing above the EMA. What do you think the context is here now? After the downtrend played out with the break and a new extreme, the context here, the context here is starting to be bullish. It's looked like a little bit of a trading range, but the overall uh, trend, it looks like it's starting to gain the strength after this downtrend played out with the break and a new extreme. You pushed heavily above the EMA. So what you're looking for, if you want to take a trade, reverse the pattern. First entry short, second entry short, failure. But once again, you're not touching the EMA. It is coming off the trend line, but it is a, quite a bearish bar. And this is just a first entry. 
So once again, it is better to skip this trade. Once again, reverse the pattern, market moves in twos, failed second entry are such a pr high probability setup, but you don't want to take a chance and market keeps pushing higher and is finally on its way to create this new extreme. All right, guys, so hopefully you find the video helpful. Just remember, it is important to be patient because there were not that many trades from uh, in, in this area because a lot of you uh, weren't trading at here. I was trading really early here today, decided to take this trade. And this was a little bit aggressive. And, and then you have a few good trades right here and then here. So you have to be patient throughout this section right here. And, you know, it is really important being patient and not forcing trades. Trading is only psychological and jumping the gun. And if, if you want to take a trade because you want to be a little bit early and trade and the setup is not really there, that's when you're going to make the mental error. All right, guys. So make sure you study your charts over the weekend. You want to get a leg up on your competition. And I'm going to see you guys on Monday. So take care, everybody.